Welcome back, everyone, to episode 13 of the Kenshi Let's Struggle Season 2. And as per requested of pretty much everyone, we're bringing back the intro. It's been a good bit since I made a Kenshi Let's Struggle episode. Harold's been fucking bored out of his mind just reading books in the science lab. Meanwhile, I got some units at Fort Harold training. They're also trying to give this guy the initiation process, that way he can have good defense stats. First off though, I wanted to put down a small shack here. I didn't do fuck all of it, and I don't know why I put it down, but there it is. Now on the meaningful side of shit, I found out how to do the farming platforms. So they're in their own little category right here because it's from a mod, but this will let me grow basically any crop anywhere. Now it's pretty hard to clip on stuff, seeing as it uses the same properties as the gate, I think, that or the wall. So, you know, you can get a really fucked up pattern going on like that, but if you line it up like I did, you can manage to fucking secure one. <laughs> and then right after that, we had a nice friendly bandit rage arrive at Fort Harold. Now this group was pretty fair, you know, quite, quite a fucking group. So, of course, I tell everybody to stop production and go to the gates. This time, we're gonna try and keep the bandits outside because we're having a problem with all these fucking boots that are lying around. <laughs> See, Fort Harold has no problem taking out these massive groups of bandits, but I have to do an import like every fucking day, or else there's just uh, mountains of boots everywhere. On a bright side though, it was defeated outside of the gate, so hopefully most of them will be picked up and not just picked off. And when I go out back to the farming platform, you have different options for stairs. So I picked the one for the side that I wanted, and then after that you can place that and there's also a roof that I couldn't get to place right away but I, f I figure it out later. Now one of the problems of training is that you lose a lot of these guys <laughs> that you're training with. They get stuck in the walls. And another problem that I had was even with this thing constructed I now had the fucking brain boggling task of trying to figure out how to put stuff in it. You can see the frustration in how I'm moving my mouse and stuff trying to do anything. I even tried in the morning to do the exact same thing. Now I ended up uh, figuring out if I go into the tech tree, I can find the farming tech and see, okay, I need to research all this. Now these all cost books, so that's going to be another mission, but at least I figured that one out. Now that we got two people making cactus rum though, we got a nice supply of this cactus rum coming in. So. I made sure to load up Snub and a few other of the robots with some stuff that way we could bring it over to the Swamp Cities. I also went ahead and upgraded the weapon benches that we have, that way we can start to make some of the top tier weapons in the game. With the high level of weaponsmith that we already have, we should be able to do it. Another good thing is Ruka has been getting pretty good strength experience. She's at 68 now and she started at around below 50. so. This is pretty good. The other people training can all get melee attack and then dexterity up, as well as the person being dummied and fought, he gets defense up a lot. Now on the other side though, Harold had pretty good dexterity, but still had under 60 strength, so I wanted to load him up with a ton of iron and a lot of heavy stuff that we could. This way I can have him walking back and forth with this. So I got him to knock out a dust bandit and then pick him up. Shortly after though, the skeletons arrive near the swamp and they didn't encounter any groups on their first run in luckily and they're able to make just a pretty good profit there the weapons that we're making sell for quite a bit and the cactus rum is very high value in the swamp area so using this i was able to buy some more hemp that way we could start planting the hemp farms as well as some of these blueprints and 20 books for the research i also really needed hemp at this point too because the weapon smiths are going to need some fabrics now to be crafting these top tier weapons which we don't have yet because we don't have any cotton or hemp. I also went ahead and placed down this tall tower here. Now that I have a large building from Tech 4. And right about after that, I was looking around. And I'm like, hmm, there's a suspicious number of nomad uh, animals and nomads wandering around. I wonder how long it'll be, you know, until I just shit breaks loose. And sure enough, it took like maybe 10 fucking seconds. And then shit broke loose. One of the animals probably started to eat the crops. So then all the nomads are now fighting people in Fort Harold, and we have to fight the animals as well. This always isn't that great, but on the bright side, it is just good combat experience for everyone overall. Now, Snub got it the worst though. When he gets knocked out, I've figured out he fucking starts to go flying, you know? It's like that uh, one part from Bleach where Chad gets flown for like 10 seconds. Now, there's no worries though, because Harold and the others were all there, and they were able to secure victory over the nomads and others. But 
majority of the people at Fort Harold were all knocked out pretty damaged up even a few limbs were lost so that was a pretty rough battle for everyone and we went down to negative seven relationship with the nomads on a bright side though we can finally make our own electric parts i've been wanting to do this for a while but now that we can finally do this i set up the workbench inside near the research bench i then went and selected all the research that we need for the modular farming that way we can plant all these different things and the training dummy was going pretty well now the only problem is that he constantly gets knocked into near the walls, so I have to keep an eye on him quite a bit and sort of micromanage the training. But I can still get things done at Fort Harold at least, so I focus mainly on trying to get the hemp farm set up. First, by putting down a small one there, we would have a little under enough hemp to make it, so we'd need to do a few more runs. But at least once we do have it set up, we can start to make our own hemp. Tower was also set up in the corner, so I decided to put down a couple armor storages to put our armor in, along with a meta crate and a metal chest. That way, we can store different things in there. Then over on the storm house, I put down two skeleton repair beds. Now we can finally repair our own skeletons and broken or damaged robotic limbs. Now this is really good, and I tested it out on Harold first and it healed his right leg right up really fast which is really good because that means he can run fucking fast again. And then to make light of the whole situation, I took one of the nomads and threw him in a cage and recruited him. Now this guy I named after for Nanny. And then after that, I checked on the other prisoner we had, but uh, he fucking died. <laughs> I guess uh, nobody watched after him or anything, so that's pretty unfortunate, but you know, you, you live and you lose. So I put in a different guy in the crate and then talked to him. Now he just joined the squad as it was, so Sandals the Little is now a part of a Hair Young Empire. And he's got nice stats, 94 in melee defense, which is a huge highlight. And then some pretty fair stats in other areas, he's going to be a pretty good unit to have. Now things were pretty peaceful at Fort Harold for a couple of days, and progress was going pretty well. The explorers and snub were not having that great of a time, but Triangle Bandits were still furious that I had been calling them fucking triage bandits for 30 episodes, but you know, that's what they are now, so fuck them. Now even though we got modular farming, I'm not sure if it's going to be better to be planting the cactus on that or just try these cactus farmlands on the normal ground, so I'm going to try both. And I still am trying to get everybody sort of geared up and shit. It's very hard to though. On the bright side, we do have all these fucking boots around, so um, you know, anybody who doesn't have a pair of shoes can have their uh, free fucking pickings wherever they want. Now we're finally starting to produce some hemp though, so I wanted to set up a couple more farming platforms. This way, we can start to make more and more hemp. And as the skeleton group was on their way to shark, an elder beak thing started chasing them down. We could tell it was an outer beak thing because it said so, and it's also the size of Imp Lord. Now this thing is terrifying, and honestly, really fucking hard to take out as you guys have seen with Imp Lord. But he managed to take out Snub in no time. He's doing massive damage, even to the skeletons, 50s to 100. So this was not that great. Snub started to have seizures while this was all going on, and Wet Axo was the first to fall. This just left Arpo and then Erocative to go and fight the Baka thing. Now, I had no idea if they could fucking beat him or not. Because even though they've had a lot of training, they were pretty outmatched. But Arpo had quite a bit of health and defense on him. So I tried to make it so that Erocative or Wet Axo could run around and then try and distract him. Meanwhile, Arpo could try and do the blocking. Now, this didn't work too well, and he was mainly focusing on Wet Axo and then Erocative first. But after they were able to reboot, they could just keep on fighting until the Baka thing could be slain. Now, he was getting lower and lower in health, and Wet Axo was about at one hit. And Arpo was still doing pretty good, though. Right after a spinning fucking fist kick, the Baka thing falls, and we had slain it. Now, and I made sure to go into the fucking inventory, go, go grab that meat, and then put it back. Just that way, it's dead. Meanwhile, at Fort Harold, some luck had actually turned because a farm trader had arrived with a shitload of hemp. Well, it wasn't a shitload, but it was a lot more than what we had, so I made sure to grab it all. Even when we went to Shark, when selling all of our stuff, we're now back near a quarter mil, so we're doing pretty good on money. Now, for farming modules, they have these little lamp posts or little posts here. 
you can put spotlights on them that way it will shine light on your crops so so if your farmers are harvesting them during the night they won't lose any skill and then once i set those up i also put down some hemp storages as we're gonna need them to store all this hemp now seeing as we've already been farming quite a few people at the hair young empire know how to farm at least decently well we have no problem with getting people to help out and take care of all the hemp a bit after i was just playing normally i was just checking up on everyone you know i uh i checked send you know nothing oh wait well what the fuck was that okay so i went back to send and they uh there was a, you know a huge group of the, these dust bandits coming to raid our gates so i sent everybody out of the fucking uh fort of course we don't even really have turrets or anything set up you know it's just full force melee because it's the best for experience and Harold's able to knock them all out almost in just about one hit. Every one of his hits is doing about 100 or over now. He's almost getting close to 200, which is fucking insane. Meanwhile, Snub is like having it the worst. He's, because he keeps on flying everywhere, it's starting to become hard just to heal him or pick him up, you know? I'll send someone over to go heal him, and, uh, you know, if they won't be fast enough, he'll uh, jump off on him. So the best way to do this, if this is happening to you, is pick them up and then get people to heal them up and then they'll just stand up once they're above zero in all limbs. Now I didn't want to continue the farming platforms just continuously straight, so I made a few more to the side, just about four right there. And then behind the research building, I put this giant building that way. This is where we can process all of our hemp into hash. And now that we're looking pretty good on power, I figured we can light this bitch right up. So I made sure there were lights all around the inside, as well as spotlights just all around the outside of the building. We can have a lot more power to use, but on the unfortunate side, we do need to find copper alloy plates to make the hemp processors. Now, I know these can sometimes be bought, but the best place we're going to find these mostly is going to be in ruins. So we will have to look for some soon, but I decided to put down some ore drills, one near the copper and then one near the iron. We don't really need too much ore right now, but it's nice just to have these because they're more efficient. And by this time, we now had at least three of the hemp farms all set up and a, a pretty good production of hemp coming. Now, I got this storehouse from a mod. I'm going to look into exactly how it works, but basically if it does all work out well, it'll look really nice and have labels for all the chests and stuff. Now even though we keep on having bandit raids show up every few days, if they're really becoming super weak at this point. Harold is able to take out them, just about all of them, you know, just single handedly he's taken out. Quite a few of them so there's no worries there as well as i set up a few more batteries because i figured out we didn't have enough batteries to contain and store all the power that we needed but with these set up we'll be a lot better off but i also did set up a few fans because you know why the fuck not with those fort herald has like with those fort herald has plenty of power and i don't think should ever suffer a blackout again now the things were looking pretty good, I gathered Harold and the skeleton group, that way they could go off and explore. We needed some copper alloy plates, or else we can't make the hemp process. So I'll be sending them over to Venge. Venge is a pretty shitty spot to explore because of these beams of light that burn any humans or non-skeletons. But, you know, we'll, we'll figure out how to survive in the next. If you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure you leave a like and a comment in the comment section below. Remember to subscribe if you guys want to see more Kenshi Let's Struggle. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.